whatever goes up must come down just like an apple falling from a tree or a pencil falling from your desk but what about satellites we send them up into space but they just keep revolving around the earth why don't they just fall and crash into the earth the answer lies in the fact that satellites move sideways relative to the earth's surface the earth's gravity is constantly pulling satellites towards itself but it's because of this sideways movement that satellites don't fall to the ground it's a lot like swinging a weight on the end of a string without the sideways motion satellites would simply fall to the center of the earth and without the earth's pull they would go flying off in a straight line the same explanation can answer why the moon revolves around the earth and the earth revolves around the sun without any of them crashing into each other so whatever goes up comes down and might not come down too and the reason why both these things are possible is gravity things like why an apple fell to the ground or why the moon didn't fall to the ground fascinated the scientist Isaac Newton so he decided to study the previous works of Kepler and Galileo built upon these ideas and came up with a law for gravitation his law states that every particle of matter attracts every other particle of matter in this universe and he meant all particles newton also said that this force of attraction is proportional to the product of the masses of the particles that is heavier the bodies more the force of attraction between them if the distance between the particles is doubled the force decreases by four times if we put all of this into a proportionality we get force proportional to product of the masses divided by the square of the distance between the centers of the two masses Although Newton gave this theory in the 17th century, it took 111 years to find the value of g. Finally, Henry Cavendish conducted a very complicated experiment with complicated formulas and found that g had a value of 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11. Newton's gravity made a lot of things easy to explain, like tides. It's the moon's gravity that pulls the seawater and causes high tides on the side of the earth facing the moon and low tides on the side facing away from it. Similarly, a lot of things can be explained using Newton's gravity and that's exactly why we call it the universal law of gravitation. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.